Yo, what is up? It is your boy Marcus or Moistini back for another video. Today is another episode. I'm not really episode, but win, lose, or draw. It's where I post my game regardless of what I do. Is the last game of the qualifier stage period. So I'm um, just posting this regardless of how I do. And uh, this one got interesting to say the least. It does get interesting. And we'll be breaking it down what I do, where I go wrong now that I can watch it back and see the stupid things that I do in this game and uh, how this game panned out to say the least. Um, pushing up with the QQ9, I changed this out. I hadn't used this gun since I got a diamond and made the Road to Diamond video, so I'm a little rusty with it. Uh, and I don't really, I'm following this guy because I want to be a team player and I want to help my guy out. If, way, if he pushes up and I can trade him out if he dies. But uh, nothing really happens here. Um, we push up top L. This guy hits our flank with a sniper rifle. Because, I mean, you can just do anything with a sniper in this game. And, uh, yeah. Teammate is able to get that two-piece in the round. Moving forward, we're going into round two here. Uh, I decide, once again, I'm going to follow a teammate. But I whip out an AR this time. And uh, I didn't check my corner. Not, not, I mean, those rookie mistakes. I was just assuming he wouldn't be there, right? I kind of just figured, I got there kind of quick. I just figured he wouldn't be there. I could have got there quicker, but is what it is. Not a big deal. I obviously get the information through the death cam. Last guy's in the back, so I go ahead and, you know, type plant the bomb in chat. A little bit of communication from to my teammates because I didn't have sound. And that kind of makes a big difference in S&D, not having sound. Especially for a guy like me who's already had a huge deficit playing with thumbs. Not having sound is a big, big deficit. And now I'm just like running around doing whatever. So we were able to take that round. I didn't really have any impact. I just had to pull out the sniper. I don't snipe much aside to get the to get this gun diamond, which is pubs. I, I choke some shots here. This is bad out of me. I'm more worried about not getting sniped instead of sniping him. And that's bad. I'm rusty, so that's kind of why I'm playing like that. Definitely something I need to fix uh, myself. But it gets even up to 3-3 life count for each team. I decided to back up a little tactical retreat. We're on offense. We have plenty of time to get this bomb down. And uh, I'm just kind of looking for anybody wrapping through, right? Somebody's wrapping through deep our spawn. I'm able to pick them off here. If they wrap through behind me, then that's just good on them. I mean, you got to give them props, right? I don't have sound, so I wouldn't even hear them. They'd just shoot me in the back, get a free kill. But I don't think anybody's coming over through here. I could have hit this shot. Once again, though, I suck with sniping and I'm rusty. So, I mean, I'm missing shots like crazy. All game long. All game long, I was missing shots. This is really bad qualifier stage in general for me. I didn't do good at all. I went like... I think I was four and five going into this game. So this was just to go five and five or four and six. So definitely not pretty out of me. Still qualified because I'm in legendary. So I only need two wins. But um, definitely trolling with this combat axe. Like, what am I doing? Not really, not really cool. I get a trophy system glitch or maybe they just updated that. I don't know what that was. I shot that through the wall right there because I obviously had just died from that corner. So I'm kind of concerned about the dude playing the same credit corner again and me not, you know, checking it. I kind of checked that right corner right there, but we're running out of time. Didn't even pay attention to that in game. Didn't pay attention to it. Now it's 10 seconds left. Able to catch this guy out mid map with the EM2. Not making the smart play. Teammate barely gets bombed down in time, right? Two seconds left. One second left. He's able to somehow get it down. Now, 2v1 situation. I got the M2 out, a gun I have hardly ever used. I'm getting messages about the NFL schedule, and uh, I was not ready for this guy. As you can tell, I am panicking, and I'm just getting away here. I'm just getting away, playing my life. Teammate spots him, and that really helps because he kind of takes some pop shots at him, and I'm able to get away, and we can kind of take advantageous gunfights. This guy pulled a sniper back out, was going to hit me with it, Actually, I managed to get away, which is nice. Once again, I'm goofing off with the stupid tomahawk, which I've got more than like six kills ever in COD Mobile with the tomahawk. I don't know why I'm using it. But I'm able to find a way to get an advantageous gunfight with a couple seconds left in the round and get a free kill. One of my uh, very few in the game so far. Pull out the swordfish and some very bad tracking out of me, but some good teammates team play team shotting right there it would help out this should have been my kill i completely messed up definitely should have been my kill 100 
but it's 5-1 i didn't even see that i was hitting this rap because i was 5-2 in life count and uh didn't matter team was able to pick it up we're at 4-0 absolutely frying these kids right now in the four offensive rounds take note four offensive rounds so we decide look at this team push look at it. all four of us pushed up deep a already and this guy must have had the information on that because he is in the back back here preaming my window so i mean he gets a freebie there that's that's on him good job by that guy able to just read that which wasn't really a difficult read but good read by him that being said now we've got crispy the sks abusing fellow back here just chilling doing what he's got to do to win the game in a 2v4 because we kind of we kind of chalked it up over their right side that being said they have a good chance to clutch this up right 2v4 bomb's not down yet so they have map they have some map control here dudes in their spawn and our guys in our spawn so they have time but our guy gets picked off our spawn so that kind of leaves him in a 1v3 very tough situation uh no teammate call outs nothing to really go off of he was getting sniped at the whole time so just not a good situation right there now it's 4-1 right we're 4-0 so it was never hit this shot in my life like didn't even know you could do that i'm trying to jump shot as a thumbs player not having a good time accidentally go prone and it probably saves me there because he probably spots me out and shoots me in the side from that window i accidentally go prone because i'm not used to playing with the opacity down and I, I get a free kill out of it so there you go uh, guy in the chat saying gg right it was a 2v5 1v4 technical 1v4 right now saki guy on the other team is able to uh get a pick make it a 1v3 this is where we throw hard a little bit of foreshadowing we throw hard here right a minute left on the clock it's a 1v3 all we gotta do is not move this guy has to get the bomb down once he plants it we can just collapse right all three of us can get in there somebody can hop bomb immediately and all we gotta do is defend him for four seconds five seconds and it's done not what happens here teammate gets picked off another teammate gets picked off because he picks up a sniper and he has a sub so now i'm in a 1v1 not a good situation and uh i got no sound nothing going for me and i'm rusty and i've had a bad game so i'm a little nervous not going well right now i'm trying to watch his cross into a right here right if i see him crossing a boom i wrap behind him i pick him off bomb or i get him right as he gets off bomb and uh and it's a done deal not what happens never actually see him and bomb is just down an a so he gets the plan off and he gets away and he gets a uav this is all bad all of this is bad I don't have ghost on i have toughness because sniper flinch is pretty insane in cod mobile nowadays so can't run ghost you gotta run toughness in my opinion especially as a thumbs guy not playing gyro there's just a lot of bad things for a guy like me that being said i uh i cut through mid here with about 18 seconds left and he gets first shot and he's got a cbr so he wins it great on him technical 1v4 good job by that guy absolutely going huge to keep them alive in this game it was 4-0 now it's 4-2 i'm nervous i just choked right i mean i either choked or he clutched up whichever one you want to call it and uh i played this credit corner here the only place i can die from is top window and would you believe it he's in the window <laughs> i mean he just hits top l quick as hell gets in that window and picks me off from behind this guy crispy must not have been watching it or just didn't have an angle probably both um so there we go. Um, I got three kills in this game. It's 4-2. We're down in this round. I believe 3-4 right now. Not going good. Not going good at all. People are playing these games nowadays. Very like, very like, like we're playing for money. Like champs-esque. Like people are camping. Uh, I mean, we could be honest. People are camping or it's ranked. So I wouldn't really say camping. They're just playing like we're playing for real. Like they're taking it serious. Uh, I have not used to that. I haven't really cared about ranked in about 17 seasons since like the hbr came out like i haven't cared so it's kind of you know it's a lot more serious in this game i wasn't really prepared usually when people do that i usually sit in the back of the map and just watch them wrap our spawn and i shoot them in the back that's usually what i do because somebody's got to do it and i'm the only one with the patience to do that that being said teammate gets put in on 1v3 and uh, i mean ggs bro you ain't got no time he's got a melee abusing loser coming at him I mean, it's a wrap, bro. Respect for going for the snipe, but it's a wrap. 
four three four three round now uh i decided to whip out the swordfish because this is my most used gun in cod mobile ever since it came out i would say i've used this more than pp19 so got about seven thousand kills with this thing and i can't even move around with it because i'm a thumbs player so definitely not the best gun for me to use in terms of actually moving around but i love a good old one burst with the swordfish nothing feels better able to try to get some shots in that guy but not not going too well we're down again three four life count and uh, i'm wrapping towards mid because i, I kind of saw this guy go in here i just don't know where it went and he gets called out i don't know look at this look at that cheese he like hopped over the rail and got stuck now i'm in a 1v3 opportunity to end this right here pull off a 1v3 my boy sends me some valorant information which you know i appreciate that but it didn't help me <laughs> so i die um so here's where it ends right here 4-4 four, four. they have made the full sale comeback attempt i push up with my teammate and we get clapped world starred i mean just all bad for us man all bad no trades just not good on behalf of this the two of us teammate goes up there though and is able to even it up 3-3 three, three after a couple of trades now it's 2-2 two, two. good job by teammate with the uh pay to win qq9 right there now 2-2, two, two, this guy, streamer mode guy, gets a pick, 2-1. And a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock, so we got plenty of time to sort of make something happen here. This guy, whoever it is, Santa OP on their team, should have plenty of time to sort of figure us out. We're obviously in the A site trying to get something going here, waiting to see if this guy's going to push us or try to catch a timing or if he's just waiting for a wrap. But teammate wraps mid and is able to catch him out and prevent us from getting full sail comeback on. I mean, we were up 4 0. Like, a full sail comeback would have been very embarrassing for the uh, win, lose, or draw series that I've not really started. I'm just doing it for whatever. And um, yeah, not pretty. Not pretty at all by me. Not pretty at all by the team in general. Then again, I didn't help really. I just kind of like was there in spirit and sort of in. In totality, I guess I was there. But uh yeah, rough one. Rough game. Shout out to teammates because they hard carried me. I was in the backpack. Didn't really have any good kills. Didn't plant the bomb. Didn't defuse the bomb. Didn't really do anything. I was just there for a long time. All the top, fi all the top 5,000 players in this lobby aren't even doing anything. That's kind of crazy. Like They're all bottom, bottom of the leaderboard. The guy who had the 1v4 had four kills in the whole game, which is kind of crazy my memory serves me right that's crazy he had four kills and all four of them were in one round that being said here's a little proof that this was my 10th game five and five not pretty not fun had a bad game and as well as most of my games in this qualifier has been all bad really a uh, little shout out to my boy forfeits here for subscribing shout out to you bro look at this dope skin by the way i wish i had that but that's like 250 dollars or something there's no way in hell i'm buying that and this class setup is kind of irrelevant because I'm a thumbs player. But if you are a thumbs player, that's kind of what I like to use. It's just really hard for me to snipe. Anyway, thank you guys for coming to the win, lose, or draw video. Obviously, an ugly game, but you're going to see it anyway. Just because, you know, I don't always have good games, if we're being honest. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.